Hey guys, so yesterday in the Korean servers, Algasia and the long-awaited balance patch for classes was released. And as I'm a Surge Blade main, I jumped straight to the Death Blade section. And thank god some of the damage was returned to us. We got our bubble generation and the overall damage of the Surge nerf, but there was something else that caught my eye. This line right here, this effect increases the damage of the blade burst skill by up to 100, 110, and 120%, but if you look at the engraving before it's changes, it says that each stat gives 7.5 increased damage to Surge. I was wondering why they were so vague with this new line and assumed that now burst 1, 2, and 3 would give 5, 5.5, and 6% damage respectively. But how can I assume anything in this world, right? So I decided to test this goddamn thing myself and thought it'd be fun to create a scientific experiment to figure out exactly what myself and the blades in the West can expect from our damage now. What's the ideal stack? What are the best skills? Is burst one still viable? We can figure that out now. Okay, so our research question will be to figure out whether or not the percent damage from each stack increases evenly or not. What we can assume from the info that they give us is that burst 1, 2, and 3 will have a max of 100, 110, and 120% increase, so our hypothesis will be that the damage will increase by 5, 5.5, and 6% respectively. Our independent variable will be the number of stacks, and the dependent will be the damage displayed. Our control variable will be the engravings and the damage modifiers. Grudge, Master of Ambush, Curse Doll, Keen Blunt, Surge 1, and Adrenaline 1 will be used. Surge 1 is due to the fact that anything higher than it will give percent attack power based on stacks, which can mess with our results, and Adrenaline 1, as with it, we can have 100% crit with our set bonus and combat stats. Now the test. Every single stack of Surge will be tested from 0 to 20, and each 3 times then averaged for a more accurate answer. Each shot of Surge will be with Spin Cutter Synergy applied, 3 Bubble Trance Surge, and full stacks of level 1 Adrenaline. Now we will figure out our base Surge damage at 0 stacks. Now that we know, we can assume what the damage will look like for Surge since each stack should give us 5% increased damage as 100% extra damage divided by 20 stacks is 5. So now I'm gonna fast forward the whole testing here and oh my lord I got so confused halfway and I had, to re I had to redo a lot of the trials because I wanted to remove any possible confounders like using Surge 1 uh, in one bubble trance for example, but know that this took me so long. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys are Twitch enjoyers, feel free to check out my stream at twitch.tv slash Kimothy and come say hi. I would love to get to know more of you guys. And so now, after the testing, here are the results. Yup. And for the graph lovers, here's one as well. They didn't tell us that the surge damage scales exponentially as well. It's not linear anymore. So if you see from the actual percent damage increase, it only meets its expected damage at exactly 20 stacks. Honestly, I was pretty shocked and kind of like low-key triggered, so I went away and slaved for another hour or two testing Surge 3, but note that Surge 3 gives you a 1% attack power increase per stack. And so here is the graph for that one. Yup, it's also exponential. So despite the fact that our hypothesis was completely wrong, why does Surge 3 meet its expected damage point faster than Surge 1? I think it's because of the attack damage buff Surge 3 gives, so if Surge 3 only had the extra 120% increased damage without the attack damage modifier, the graph would look the exact same as Surge 1. So the conclusion and key takeaways. Surge 3 is better than Surge 1. Surge 3 already meets its expected damage value around 16 stacks where you gain 16% attack power, but then you might think is 16 stacks the new ideal playstyle? And nope, I don't think so. If you look at the graph, by gaining 4 more stacks, your damage jumps insanely high, up to 150% additional surge damage, which was the non-nerfed surge, obviously accounting, not accounting for the attack damage power increase. So I think 20 stacks is the play here, obviously taking into consideration the exponential bubble gain system that surge now has as well. But 
if need be, 16 stacks can work as well. So the build and cycle. My recommended build you can check out from my previous video. It's the same as before. Link should be in the description down below. But I want to talk about skill cycles instead now. The skills taken are the exact same in my previous video as well, except you can either take Moonlight Sonic or Void Strike. Moonlight Sonic does more damage, but Void Strike can cover you in case you want to unleash Surge at 16 plus stacks and get 3 bubbles back with it. I'll show you an example of the 20 stack cycle now. So now I'm going to show you guys the 20 stack cycle that's using either Void Strike or Moonlight Sonic. So first I'm going to show you the version with Void Strike. You're going to start off activation, spin cutter, wind cut, blitz rush, mail, soul absorber, void strike, spin cutter, wind cut, and burst. Now for the second one, you can use Moonlight Sonic, and for Moonlight Sonic, you want to take Shadow Injection, the Enhanced Charge, and Shade Sonic. And then it'll look something like this. You'll activate, Spin Cutter, Wind Cut, Blitz Rush, Moonlight Sonic, Mail, Soul Absorber, Spin Cutter, Wind Cut. There we go. So in moments where we can't actually get a full 20 stacks and you might need to unleash a 16 stack or a 17 stack uh, depending on how much time you have with your bubbles, uh, the last Void or Moonlight Sonic can fill up the rest of the bubbles but it's only in some situations and I want you guys to know this and the skill uh, cycle would go like this. And I would have three bubbles back. And showing the other one, which is the Void Strike, instead, it would go something like this. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. This took me forever to make, but I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video and leave any comments or questions you have down below. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!